Hey there guys, Pimple Wizard 192 aka Simon Thompson here and welcome back to another to another reaction trailer reaction video. Uh, this time I am looking at a, the official trailer to the reinventioning of a, of one of my favorite Disney animated movies that is a tale as old as time, Beauty and the Beast. So, let's get right on with it. There's woods and mountains. There's the castle. And there's the Disney logo. It looks well, it looks well designed. And there's the picture of the young Prince Adam before getting the beast. There's the Oh. Bell. Makeup looks good. I'm sure it's makeup. Show me the girl. Ah, uh, there's the voice. So, what if she is the one? The one who'll break the spell? Mm, I kind of don't like that. Hello, you can talk. Hello, of course he can talk. Hello, pleased to meet you. The master's not as terrible as he appears. Just on. <laughs> Think of the one thing you've always wanted. And find it in your mind's eye and feel it in your heart. Don't be afraid. I'm not afraid. Who's the big ring? It's this, uh, oh, that that is like that that's brilliant. It's wow. I, I mean, like I I I I really like love Beauty and the Beast from when it came out in the nineteen nineties, and then it it's like it's one of my fa it's one of my favorite uh like movies. I well, not like favorite movies as a whole, but like I, I don't know really. But it, it it is one of my favorite Disney animated movies, or like a Disney movie as a whole. I mean, it really has, uh, like, from what this has shown, it really holds that nostalgia value, you know, like, um, so far, you know, for when it comes to, like, reinventing uh, the Disney animated classics into, like, live action remakes, um, you know, there's, like, Alice in Wonderland, which I didn't, and Alice in Wonderland, and also the sequel, which I didn't really like, um, there's uh, Maleficent, which I not fully into, even though I love Angelina Jolie's Maleficent, unfortunately that didn't save enough of what the movie offered in that, but yeah. Uh, there's uh, Cinderella after Maleficent, uh, which I think at some times it was good, at other times you know, there was some parts in it that I really like of what changed, you know, from the original, but there was some others that, 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 that didn't change uh, that did uh, change for the better in that reinvention of the Disney classic from 1955, uh, was it? I, I don't know. I, I, I prefer the uh, old classic Cinderella, even though I, I, I like, you know, old classic Cinderella and I like actual Cinderella, but I've heard there's like another Cinderella movie called, um, it was, I think it's called Ever After, that's actually the definitive Cinderella story. I haven't seen that yet, but I'm hoping to, I'm hoping to very soon, so yeah. Um, I, I, I just, I, I, I mean, I don't hate this live action Cinderella, I don't mind it, I'm just saying it's okay, uh, on its own, like, uh, I, uh, even though I love the casting, but there's like some bits that, I, that, 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 there was just some bits in the movie that I, 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 I don't uh, feel that it makes as more of a masterpiece as like the original, but yeah. And there's also recently last year, which is um, the Jungle Book, which I actually love, including the twist ending. And even though I like, even though I don't mind, even though I don't mind the original, but I think this one actually, I think the live action remake in 2016 actually quite trumps it a bit. 
Not a lot, but still. And, and, and to be honest, you know, the kid Mowgli in that movie was actually more, you know, Compton, more complex. He actually has more, like, yeah, you know, you can relate to more than the kid in the, the uh, in, 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 like, the original version. Yeah, sometimes you can, but unfortunately, in, in the original, you have to make he's kind of a bit of a dumbass. Okay, okay, and 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 I know I'm getting too far ahead of myself. We're supposed to be talking about being the beast and not the uh, the, the other previous, you know, uh, reinventions. But you know, it's it's this this it's this uh, trend that Disney is starting. So I have to talk about them and how my and how I feel about them. So yeah. So yeah, I, I don't so so like uh, yeah, Alice in Wonderland, not big fan. Maleficent, um, not big fan either. Uh, so the movies that I didn't mind, you know, what I kind of uh, find it enjoyable, which is Cinderella. Um, well, the Jungle Book, I I enjoy the Jungle Book more than Cinderella, even though I don't mind uh, watching Cinderella. I, I just thought it was okay. So yeah, but this this Beauty and the Beast, this is actually looking more closer you know, to the actual story of the original movie. And um, I, what I've seen on the visuals and all that, it, it, it's really beautiful and stunning, even though it looks a bit different than, the you know, the castle design in the uh, actual animated movie. But still, I, 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 I really can't wait. It's just so well made. I, I can't really wait to see it. Even though, like, the animation done well inside the castle in the animated movie uh, looks really good it like it makes you feel like you're in a haunted castle like from the haunting or anything that's something with the Doug Walker said <laughs> um but yeah this I am really look this movie looks promising it does remind me of the 1991 version so even though you can't really perfect that version but but still I, I, I still I think it looks promising and I know some people are complaining about it's directed by the same guy who brought the last two Twilight movies you know and well, and I just want to say, he, he did some, he has some other good credit in his own career. He did Kinsey, um, he did uh, Gods and Monsters, I'm sure it's Gods and Monsters. And he also directed another musical movie called um, Dream Girls, which I haven't seen yet, but I really want to. Um, so yeah, uh, Beauty and the Beast, it's, you know, it's uh, still, it's a romantic fantasy uh, musical film. Uh, you you, you, you kind of know what the uh, plot is going to be. It's going to be as the same as like the original. And well, we were not so sure if this this one is going to have a twist. I, I, I don't I don't think it's going to have a, like a twist ending. You know, some few twists. Okay, a few twists in the story, just like the Jungle Book did. But we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> uh, uh, to be honest, I don't think there is going to be any twist. Just going to like follow the original story to the nineteen ninety one version. Uh, so right, uh, the um. The casting, uh, we know Emma Watson as Belle, love, uh, love that casting, I think she uh, fit the role well. Uh, Dan Stevens as the Beast, aka Prince Adam, that's, you know, the real, his real name. Uh, <laughs> I think he did a good choice, you know, and I really love the voice and I, and I, I actually like the design of the Beast, even though I will, I, I, I'm a big fan of like the design of the, you know, the design the animation of the Beast in the original 1991 version. I think uh, the, the, what they did here, it looks, you know, they look a, bit, a little bit more human, uh, even though they, they, even though he is an animal, that he's more into like, a, you know, the Beast, you know, to make it more horrible and all that. It, it, uh, yeah. Um, I, I, don't, I don't mind at all, even though his horns uh, are backward and they're supposed to be forward, I know. Uh, but st I don't mind it. I, I think I actually like the makeup, even though I kind of wonder if, you know, it looks a bit, you know, CGI motion capture. But I, I, I'm sure, I'm, 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 I don't know really if it's CGI motion capture or makeup. It's, I just, you know, if it's, if, it would have been it would have been great if like Dan Stevens was in actual practical makeup, you know, which is some actors did like Benicia del Toro um, in The Wolfman, which is like even though that wasn't well received, The Wolfman remake in two thousand ten, that makeup the makeup artist did a great job on Benicia del Toro as the actual Wolfman. Um, right, okay, moving on. There's Luke Evans as Gaston, uh, Kevin Klein as Maurice. Uh, there's Just Gad as LeFou, who you may know who played Olaf in Frozen. Uh, there's Hugh McGregor as Lumiere. Uh, Stanley Tucci as... Uh, he's a new character in this movie. He was not like... Um, uh, he's actually the talking piano called Condenza. 
Um, he, he was not like in the in in the um you know originally in the original nineteen ninety one movie or the Broadway production. Um, there's the Wardrobe, uh, played by Audra McDonald. There's Guga. Again, I apologize if I pronounce this if I pronounce this wrong. Uh, Gu, Gugu, Mabafa Raw. <laughs> I don't mean I don't want to laugh. I don't find that funny. Um, uh, as Babette. Um, there's Ian, of course, Ian McCallan as Cogsworth, um, Emma Thompson as Mrs. Potts, and Nathan Mack as Chip. Um, I do like uh, all the casting, uh, 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 even, um, I was hoping that Ewan McGregor might surprise me as Lumiere, but, uh, to be honest, I, I, I just don't like his French accent, it just sounds a bit off. To me, he's tree. He's at least he's trying, but I I, I just don't uh, think he'll pull off a good French accent in you know in this movie. And besides, he's like uh, Lumiere is like the only character that speaks French besides the other characters, which is kind of weird to be honest. And there's also Nathan Mack as Chip. You know, he's sort of like speaking in a Cockney accent. I don't know what Nathan Mack was in, but. The way he, the way he acts, he kind of reminds me of that kid that played, uh, oh, that, uh, I can't remember the name of that kid that was in the, um, French Revolution in Les Miserables, I don't know. Uh, anyway, um, still, I, still, I like the casting, um, so yeah, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be a musical film, um, Menken, and Al, uh, as usual, Al, Al Menken ret is returning to score the film's music, uh, you know, which features songs, you know, from the original movie that he did with Howard Ashman, uh, w with uh, some new material, um, written by Menken and Tim Rice. I'm, I'm not necessarily, uh, I think that's, when I meant new material, probably that meant new songs, uh, but I think there might be included songs from the Broadway version, and hopefully I'm not going to do that song uh, called, which I didn't like from the uh, 1991 version which well it's, it's actually you know extended in the uh, special edition which was released in the uh, um 21st century i think it was like early 2000s i can't remember um or was it before that i don't know um it's called human again which honestly i, I i'm not into that song much you know i kind of prefer the original soundtrack um so yeah uh, like uh it's like also the comments you know like with emma watson's with Emma Watson wrote as Belle, I, I think it's really perfect. And I'm not the only one who thinks it's perfect. Susan Egan, who originated the role of Belle on Broadway, uh, she, uh, she, she commented the, you know, role of Emma Watson, you know, as perfect. And Pedro Harrow, who voiced Belle in the original version, she helped, um, you know, she she helped Watson in her singing lesson. So, I'm, I'm, even though I haven't heard, even though we, I'm, I'm, we, we, we haven't heard, you know, any singing, you know, from, um, you know, any of the actors yet, and well, Emma Watson mainly, but I, I'm really looking forward to this. And <laughs> to be honest, I can't wait to see you know all these actors in human form. You know, at the end of the movie, you know, <laughs> even I think uh, you know Greg is going to end up with like a mustache because I can tell you know when you see Lumiere, you know, as the uh, uh, candle, um, he, he has a, like a mustache on him when he was. Uh, Maybe when he's trans and uh, when he's transforming to a yeah, human, the you know playing with Mugga your Mugga is gonna have a mustache. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I I I'm I am really looking forward to this. It is holding it holds so much promise, and I hope and I and I think the cast, the uh you know the actors will not disappoint in playing their own roles. So uh, since I I really love the nineteen ninety one version, and I'm and I'm and I think I might um. Even though this one might not be the 1991 version, but still, at least it's um, sh it's like uh, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna give like me a nostalgia feel of what it's like of what the 1991 version is like, you know, and in introducing this story to a whole new generation. Uh, which is Disney uh, is kind of good, yeah. So yeah, thank you for watching this, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Be sure to like, subscribe, and if you have your own thoughts about this movie or the trailer, be sure be sure to comment on the section below. And I'll see you all next time. Take care.